My name's Gordon Walker. I'm owner, manager, general dog's buddy of the hobby shop in Frederick Street. I've seen many, many changes over that time. There's an old saying that they said, if you can't get what you're looking for in Frederick Street, they don't make it. Myself and the likes of Sybil, who have survived purely because it was specialised. The likes of the big supermarkets don't want me. If you look around my stock, catapults and daggers, helmets, swords, swastikas, air pistols, air rifles, that you, you will not see any of, more or less anything I stock on a supermarket shelf. So we have survived by diversifying and by selling things that nobody else wants to sell. People who come in have no, are no type. You couldn't put them, catalog them as one type of person. Collectors of, of things are, are a very strange bunch. Almost some, it, it takes them as an obsession. They could become obsessed. I did buy a large collection of German memorabilia, a very, very fine collection. In fact, I'd just been to the doctors, quite stressed at the time, and I went to see the doctor, and I came back, and I wasn't in the shop 20 minutes until I had a guy who came in to sell this large collection of, of German memorabilia, and I was literally shaking. My knee was bouncing off the the, the, um, the underside of the counter because I was so, so much wanted this collection, that obviously not just the profit margin, but the actual, the kudos of having a big collection like that. I kept it quiet, but the word re went round the manor and I had one avid collector who was actually hiding in the flower beds and the flower bushes across the road on the Monday morning as I came in to turn the lock at five to nine. And I looked across and I thought, oh, I'm sure that, I know that person, what's he doing? And then I opened the shop and within the space of two or three minutes, in he came sort of whistling nonchalant, oh, I'm just passing, have you anything new? And I said, was that you hiding the flower beds? He went, oh no, I was tying my shoelaces. I'm self-taught at mounting medals, um, and with the recent conflicts in with Northern Ireland, Afghanistan, um, Iraq, the first Gulf War, even the Falklands, that I've mounted medals for servicemen, for dignitaries. I do do medal, medal work, a lot of medal work, especially on the run-up to Armistice Day, when we used to get a lot of Second World War veterans. I'll stay here as long as I can. So you have to dodge and duck and dive and, and be very clever. But as to me, a lot of my friends have said, oh, I couldn't put up with the strain or the stress. And I have to just say to them, go where and do what? A very colourful 28 years, man and boy. I used to have a full head of hair. I didn't used to have bloodshot eyes. I used to have all my own teeth. This is what the shop's done to me.